Police are stepping up their response to the spate of recent shootings in Sydney. They've called in the New South Wales Crime Commission, which is armed with a range of powers not available to the police force. Most notably, the commission can compel witnesses to talk. After eight Sydney shootings in the past week, the police minister returned from holidays under pressure to find a solution. He's announced that all of the New South Wales Crime Commission's resources will be made available to the investigations. The raw commission powers uh, that the Crime Commission has are more probing um, and they do have the ability to force people to answer questions. Police have complained about a wall of silence from both witnesses and victims and they've welcomed today's move. Very positive in terms of having the Crime Commission with all their powers on board and we're looking forward to getting some results using those powers. But there are sceptics. Simply having an obligation to, to give information won't necessarily mean that the police will get it. The Crime Commission also has the power to compel criminal networks to explain their wealth. If they can't do so, the assets can be seized. The police union wants those powers extended to frontline police. The New South Wales Police Force should be able to interfere with the business model of these criminals. Uh, and, and remove the incentive to, uh, to commit these crimes. There is no uh, proposal within the New South Wales State Government to increase uh, to the New South Wales Police Force the powers of the New South Wales Crime Commission. The state opposition wants Parliament recalled to pass fresh legislation banning outlaw bikie gangs after the High Court struck out previous laws. The government says it's happy to reconsider the bans but says it needs federal support. Simon Pallon, ABC News.